guys so I'm gonna show you how to uh, overclock your GPU and your processor so just first click download clock gen it's a software so this is for the processor first you have to download it so open up your browser yeah okay go to the Google Google so yeah yeah okay right just search for open uh, for download clock gen and then you will see some you know some websites so click on the one with which uh, which says tech tech power up dot com slash downloads from uh, tech power up so that's the real one good one that you know that it's so you're ensured that you're getting the good one so then you get this site I will if you look at the description I you can see the link you can also click on that link you will uh, get the same thing so just click on one of those two and uh, yeah then just download it when you download it just unpack it with WinRAR and put it on your uh, desktop or whatever wherever you want to put it and um, yeah then open it so my then you click on PLL control my clocks are now my I have put it on the old clocks so the stock settings it's uh, 2009 megahertz per core so it's two times this now I want to overclock this so what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna use Everest you can download the free uh, demo version or the free trial I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna I, I see that my core one my first core is 31 degrees and my second core is 34 degrees so now I can then overclock my system I know my system can go much higher than this so you have all you have also you always have to watch this because it if it's higher than 50 then you know you have to put it a little lower because the uh, processors most processors have a 60 as maximum so I put it in like two times 2.4 yes and I also higher this one a bit yeah so I have now overclocked my CPU my processor to 2.4 gigahertz per core so 2 times 2.4 so that's a total of uh, 4.8 almost 5 gigahertz so that's that's nice uh, I know because I have always uh, I've tried to click a little bit more and that it at specific point it can't go any further because your processor can't take it and then it you will get a blue screen and it will shut down at least my computer has that so I'm ensured that I can overclock and without damaging my system uh, there's a there's a security system on my motherboard on my CPU so okay so this is how you overclock your CPU overclocked as you see now you can close this now I'm gonna show you how to overclock your GPU your graphics card so I am using software called Gigabyte Gamer HUD this is software for Gigabyte products because my 9500 GT is from Gigabyte I don't know if it will work on other process uh, on other graphic cards um, I mean on other 9500s or other cards that are not from gigabyte but you can try it I don't know if it will work if it won't work then you can uh, skip this video no, not skip this video I just move the video a little bit forward so you can uh, see how I do it with 
some other cl uh, other software called Riva Tuner, Riva Tuner, however you say it. Okay, so open this software. You can download it from the Gigabyte website. Just you, just Google it. You will find it. You will find it. So you will like to load your VGA deal clocks. Yes, because I want to show you. Okay, so these are my default clocks you can see it here here I can see the temperature and the CPU usage okay so first I'm gonna overclock the GPU from 650 to oh when you wait first click on disable okay now I hire this to like 730 I higher this one 740 no problem stable okay so I keep that this is bad okay so now next one the shader I overclock this to about 760 755 let's do this and the memory from 400 to whoop oh 700 is too much it will crash to like 540 550 is also possible uh, let's put it on 545 so this is overclocked so this is how I overclock my graphics card. Now just let me put this on default again. Close my overclocking software because I'm gonna show you how to overclock it with other software if it doesn't work with graphic cards besides the um, gigabyte card. So there's also a program. It's uh, software. It's called Riva Tuner. Open Riva Tuner, you can download it. It's uh, all over the internet. So. Now, when you have this opened, you click at driver settings, what you see here. You click here, you click there. Then you will see here your default clocks. And um, then you can overclock it so I put this on like it shows you a bit the limit but it's not always the limit what it shows you also if I click now on apply it will crash my system because 600 is just too much I put it on 540 just like I did with gigabyte so I apply that and then let's do click here on link clocks when this goes up that also goes up so I hire this core to 740 oh wait this is too much and this one to 750 so whoa, whoa too much okay so this is good so I overclocked my graphics card now and yes if you want your fan to turn a little bit faster you can also do a cost custom one direct control now it runs at 50% you can also hire it because if you want it to cool much more or something because it's too hot just put it a little bit higher and it will turn higher and um, yes that's about it and yeah that's how you overclock your GPU and processor if you want to save your clocks you can save it you can save it I've also saved two, two of this so there's one of the saved this 80% more so there are uh, these are the software that I use I hope you uh, enjoyed and you learned a little bit of this video Thank you for watching, this was Game Testers, 
with the tutorial about how to overclock your CPU and GPU. Thanks for watching.